Welcome back to another episode from Class Trip. Have you ever wondered who the richest family in Europe is? Well, today, we're going to explore the little-known story of this mysterious and powerful family that has managed to maintain their wealth and influence for centuries. You might be curious to know how this family has managed to retain their influence for centuries without anyone catching a glimpse of their hidden world. Well, all the secrets, strategies, and history will be revealed in this video right here. From their origins as a modest merchant family to their current position as one of the most significant players in European politics and finance, we are going to delve into their incredible history, secrets, and strategies that have helped them amass a fortune that spans across multiple generations. Stay connected till the end of this video. What comes to mind when you think of the wealthiest and most powerful families in Europe? Perhaps you might think of the Rockefellers or Rothschilds, but have you ever heard of the Wallenbergs? The Wallenbergs are a family so wealthy and powerful that they own a significant part of Europe's wealth, yet their name is not well known to the public. The Wallenbergs are a family of Swedish bankers, industrialists, and diplomats, who have quietly amassed one of the world's largest fortune. So, who exactly are they, and how did they become the silent yet influential titans of Europe? Our story begins in the 19th century with a young naval officer named André Oscar Wallenberg. He witnessed the chaos of the American financial crisis and saw the potential for change. Back in Sweden, banks were reluctant to lend and failed to support the booming industrialization. André had a vision of Beta Bank that would encourage everyday people to deposit their hard-earned money, offering attractive interest rates. Falling cotton prices, bad harvests, and inflation led banks to fail, businesses to go bankrupt, and unemployment to skyrocket. This experience gave him valuable insights into how not to run a bank. André saw the potential for change and founded the Stockholm and Skilda Bank SEB, in 1856, with the help of his colleagues. The SEB was an unprecedented banking revolution, transforming the banking industry and disrupting the traditional way of banking. It encouraged regular people to deposit money by offering attractive interest rates while quietly lending those deposits to fuel Sweden's booming industrialization. The SCB's popularity mounted, taking over Sweden's banking industry. The Wallenbergs had set their plan in motion, but they didn't stop there. But the Wallenbergs didn't stop at banking. They realized that ownership was the key to ultimate control. They began acquiring majority stakes in hundreds of Swedish companies, from railways to factories. Their web of influence expanded. By the 1970s, the Wallenberg family employed more than 40% of Sweden's industrial workforce and owned 40% of the country's stock exchange. The silent takeover was complete. World War II brought a moral dilemma. Which side would the Wallenbergs support the Allies or Hitler? Following the footsteps of the Rothschilds, they played both sides. While one Wallenberg brother dealt with the Allies, the other was stationed in Berlin, safeguarding German military supply companies. It was a tactical game that ensured their prosperity, no matter what happened during the war. Fast forward to the present day, and the Wallenbergs continue their tradition of playing both sides. They hold stakes in companies like Ericsson, even when facing ethical controversies. Their methods may have evolved, but their strategy remains the same maximize profit while staying in the shadows. Wealth often comes with its own set of challenges and curses. And one such curse is the third generation curse, where the heirs fail to maintain the family fortune and squander their wealth. 
Many wealthy families have fallen victim to this curse, but not the Wallenbergs. They have adopted a unique approach to preserving their wealth for generations. Instead of interesting one heir with their vast fortune, they have established a complex network of family-run foundations and businesses. Heirs must gain experience within the company before taking control, ensuring a methodical and sustainable approach to wealth preservation. Despite their legacy of secrecy, the Wallenbergs are also known for their philanthropic contributions. They established the Wallenberg Foundations, funding research in medicine, physics, and more. They have also helped to create the Stockholm School of Economics, Sweden's top business school. In total, the family has donated billions of dollars to charitable causes worldwide. And there you have it the untold story of the family that owns Europe, the Wallenbergs. The Wallenbergs are a fascinating family with a compelling legacy, and their story has undoubtedly captured our attention. Their legacy is a living reminder that, in the world of luxury and intrigue, those who adapt and capitalize on the unexpected are the true masters of their destiny. As we close today's episode, we wanted to leave you with a few final thoughts. We all know that chasing success and seeking out luxury is incredibly amazing, but it's crucial to remember that maintaining a luxurious lifestyle is way more than just about having access to the latest trends and products. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories like this. Thank you for joining us on Class Drip, where we keep you dripping with knowledge.